when you look at rapamycin in its it's at least somewhat inhibition of mTOR2 that you know th- those are pieces that you know that are a, a, an, another player and, and I you know we know that there's we're not going to find one magical bullet that stops aging it's going to be attacking it from all of these different realms probably the only one magic bullet to stop aging is exercise because it attacks every one of those pathways probably beyond that so if you were to take one pill it would be exercise that would be the the closest you could come to being one thing that you could do. But I don't just say spermidine is more important. I think it is essential to autophagy, but rapamycin may still be a critical player too to, to blocking other pathways. Okay, that makes sense. So order these for me. Fasting, then spermidine, then rapamycin? You do all three? When I fast, I fast for very short periods of time. Again, because, of, because I, I lose muscle. Um, and muscle is my kind of priority in my life. So I pass, I, you know, I used to do three or four day fast. It's probably what you really need to get to to really induce that that true mTOR inhibition, right? So if I'm really, and then the, and then the reboost of mTOR with refeeding. So I, I I fast really for for much briefer periods of time now, rarely more than a 24 hour fast. Um, so in my in my book, I'll put spermidine kind of it's I. I have everybody stay on it all the time. We'll talk about in my practice, I use it in much higher doses for other things, but it's a baseline thing. I have people stay on a maintenance dose all the time to get that autophagy really, you know, uh, enabled. Because again, if it is the one thing I have to have on board, and again, there's not a whole lot of things we think that are, you know, that are going to do, have the same effect as spermidine, then it's going to have to be up there if you want that autophagy effect. 